Okay, so we're going to have a look at some reference formatting uh, when you cite references in your project work. So when you cite references, we're going to follow the Royal Society of Chemistry guidelines. And what this means is that you put a superscript number after where you want to reference. So here I'm putting a superscript number 1 after this statement. Note that you always put the reference after punctuation. So here I have a comma and then this the, cit the citation number. If you have two citations for the same comment, we put a comma between the two numbers and separate it by a space. And if you have more than two citations, we put in the range of numbers separated by a dash, again after the punctuation point. OK, so let's look at the reference formatting then for these citations. So the first one we'll do is a paper. So here we have a paper with all of the authors, the journal title and so on. So I type in all of the author's names, the initials first separated by full stops. Uh, the last author is uh, has the word and before him. Then we've got the journal name abbreviated appropriately. And those abbreviations are available on the Royal Society of Chemistry website. We've got the year. We've got a comma. Then we've got the volume in bold. A comma, you can put in the issue number is there, there as well. And then we've got the first page number. And then there's a full stop. Okay, so here's a book reference. Again, we have the author's names with and before the last author. We've got the book title in italics. We've got the publisher. If there's more than if this was more than the first edition, we put in the edition number. We've got the publication city, and we've got the year of publication. And all of that information is on the inside of a book cover. So whenever you use a book reference, you should photocopy that page. Finally, we have a book section reference, and this is where an author has written the section of a book and we put in the page numbers at the end. The rest of the format is the same. So here we have the author who's written the section. In the book title we've got the book editors preceded by the words EDS, heads, uh, the publication year and strictly speaking this reference should also have the publication city and the publishers. Okay so that's it.